we weren't looking for much last week at all. She um, it was just a little um, opportunity for her to stretch her legs, and uh, uh, we were really wasn't wanting to go quite as slow as she went last week. But um, it was all it was all good. She came out of it in good order. And, you know, four weeks from the Breeders' Cup, so it wasn't that big a concern. This week we did, she was obviously solo last week, no company. So we put her back in company this week, and um, obviously we're looking for a lot more, and she, she gave it to us. Um, I had her, my clock, I had her in a minute flat, um, out 113 for the three quarters, and uh, it was a really good move. She put her workmate away at the eighth pole, and um, there were some horses working in front of her, and she definitely was... Uh, a little more focused, or focused. I mean, sometimes she does lose focus when she um, gets clear of other horses. I think she showed that in the cotillion. Um, with losing focus, unfortunately, um, that was in a race. <laughs> but she does that. She does that working as well when she'll gallop out. Sometimes, if no no one's in front of her, she'll kind of start wandering around and just, uh, you know, not really pull herself up, but just not stay stay down, keep working. But um, much, much. Um, much better today as far as the breeze and um, galloped out extremely well. This is, is this your most serious work um, between now and November 3rd, the Breeders' Cup just staff, or will she have something pretty have, stern? She, yeah, she'll have something stern next week. Uh, she, um, not, you know, we'll, we'll see how she comes out of this and everything, but um, that's the plan next week to have another really solid breeze. I mean, this, this breeze today was really solid. I mean, you breeze 113 on this track, you know, go, go out 113 on this track. That's a good move. Um, and I think she was 127 and three for the 7 8. So it was a solid rate, a solid move. You know, a year ago, <laughs> you were getting her ready for the Rags to Riches mm -hmm. and just sort of reflect back the whole year. You know what? I'll tell you, the one, the one thing that is um, uh, just, I was thinking about this the other day, just how consistent she's been working. I mean, she works well every week I mean last week we weren't really looking for much and I think we worked her by ourselves twice and you know as a three-year-old and you know they were just very average works but when we've asked her to you know step up and breeze um she's there every week and I, I'd say that's the one thing that's probably you know the you know she just shows you you know good horses they come they come at bring it every week and and every race she's um, just very been so consistent for us of the mornings and afternoons yeah, but she's taken you a lot of, just in a short period of time, a lot of spectacular places. Um, you oh, know, yeah. First grade one at Keeneland, mm -hmm. the Oaks, grade ones in New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, she's, she means a lot to us. And like you said, taking us places that we've, we've never been and accomplished things we've never accomplished. So, I mean, she's been huge for our career, our barn, and means a lot to a lot of people. And, you know, hopefully she can cap it off on Breeders' Cup Day because it would be special being right here at church. She's, you know, horses like her and, you know, uh, been, been a big part of it. And uh, she's um, she, she's been very special to us. And uh, hopefully she continues to, you know, move forward. And she'll need she'll need to step forward Breeders' Cup Day to be able to run with the, that, that, that type of, uh, in that type of racing. But, you know, right now she, she acts like she is. And, She's, she's really doing well. How much are you looking forward to taking on older fillies and mares for the first time, including what looks like it could be a showdown of the last two Kentucky Oaks winners back here at Churchill Day? It's exciting. Someone said that, you know, when was the last time two Oaks winners faced off and had it ever happened in the Breeders' Cup? I don't know uh, if it's happened and if it ever has, but I think it's great for the game and, you know, you know, great for the sports. So I'm looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing where we stack up with the older horses. I mean, um, you know, you never know till you, till it's time to <clears throat> suit up. But she's, uh, you know, just keep her happy, healthy, and fit, and hopefully uh, she makes a good account of herself.